Hello everybody, um, today we're here with a brand new MROC that got fitted up with the Bodyline roller cover. Beautiful black powder coated flat rail design, latest generation. And we're going to go through um, just the general operation of the lock, um, the keys and how to open and close the roller cover. Alright, so let's get started by showing you how to open and close the roller cover. Okay, so we've got this uh, cover cap here for the lock. You pop that open. To open the roller cover, you press the barrel button here. Now, I'll show you how that operates. What we recommend doing is, before pressing it, pull back the roller cover to release the tension. You can see it move just a little bit with one hand. And then press the button down. Press the button down and the roller cover releases. Once it gets to the end, the roller cover actually engages the lock so when you pull it back together it actually locks into place you'll hear a click there's one click two you can have it halfway and then as we go back to the end put the cap back on now to open again i'll go through the steps pull it back press the button and it easily opens up and close it again Alright, now let's have a look at how you actually lock the, um, the locking mechanism and keep it secure. So you grab your key, the roller cover comes with two keys, currently it's unlocked but engaged, so as you can see I can still open it, pull it back, press the button, it opens up. Pull the strap to the left to lock it and it's locked. Now. In lock position, put the key in, don't push it down, just put the key in, turn it 90 degrees to lock it, take the key out, and now the roller cover is locked. When the barrel on the lock goes down without any um, resistance, that means the roller cover is actually locked and you cannot get inside. It is now locked and very secure, as long as you can't open the tailgate. So when the barrel is going down without any resistance, like so, that means it's actually locked. I'll open it, put the key in, turn the key 90 degrees, take it out. Now the barrel actually has resistance. If you can see, gently pressing it, it won't go down. It'll actually stop pretty much in its fully open position. Now to open it, pull back the roller cover, press the button. As you can see, your force actually pr presses the button down and unlocks the roller cover. Lock it again to the left and there you go. So when the barrel has resistance means it's unlocked. When the barrel goes down easily with no resistance means the roller cover is actually locked. And when it doesn't want to go down, unlocked. Pull it back and it opens up. Now let's say you don't want to have the roller cover go all the way open. You want to only open it halfway, you want to grab something out. There is a way to do that. What you do is grab the handle, pull it back, press the button, then grab the strap which is here, pull it to the left. You'll hear it click. And now, as you can see, it stays in the middle position. This is one of the, uh, the most popular positions to have it in the middle there, and it's locked into place. If you want to let it go all the way, you grab the strap and pull it to the right. You already click, and now, as you can see, it's in neutral. So you can open and close it as you wish. If you pull it to the left again, here it click, and it's locked again. To the right, it's open. So that's how you can control where it stays. Um, you can either have it open all the way or halfway like this and lock into place. If for whatever reason you're having some issues with it staying closed, it probably means that the locking mechanism isn't in the correct position. So I'll show you what happens. Currently it's the unlocked 
but closed. Pull it back, press the button, and there you go. It opens up. If I retract it all the way back, it'll engage the lock, uh, the locking mechanism, and it'll lock. I can also lock it by pulling the strap to the left, and in halfway position there, it's locked again. If I pull it to the right, you can hear a click, and it opens up. It's in neutral. Now, if I leave it in neutral, it won't close. As you can see, it looks like something's malfunctioned. It's not closing. What it actually means is that the locking mechanism isn't engaged. So you either have to get, let it go all the way back so it engages the locking mechanism, or you have to pull the strap to the left, pull it, and it locks. Pull it back, press the button, it's neutral. As you can see, it's in neutral. So to engage that lock so it closes, pull it to the left, it locks, or, see, neutral, let it go all the way back. Once it gets to the end, it engages, you can hear it click, there it is in the middle, and it locks also. So if it's not locking, going back freely means you haven't engaged the lock after opening it. Open, engage the lock, and you can have it uh, uh, close halfway here. If it stays here, it'll stay here. If it doesn't stay here, that means you haven't engaged the lock.